Hello my friends, Leo with the Irish Zombie Nation. Today I have a review for you on an item I've been wearing for the past month or so I think. Uh, a company contacted me by the name of Core Essentials. They make gun belts and they asked me to review uh, one of the belts of my choosing. They have a different variety of buckles, different uh, variety, well two varieties of belt, different colors I would imagine. Uh, I went with of course black on everything and the type of buckle I got was this one right here. But this is the Core Essentials X5 gun belt. Now gun belt, because it is a nice, as you can see, sturdy belt, this would be good for a plain clothes officer or guy in a suit or something, security, something like that, wearing his sidearm all the time under his jacket. This is a nice sturdy belt and it looks nice and fancy. Now the belts I've had in the past, like my 511 uh, tactical TDU double duty belt, whatever that thing's called, I love it. Been wearing it forever. I decided to go with leather. They do have a nylon version as well of this belt, which has a uh, uh, leather in between the different sections of or the different layers of nylon and then let's get to the what you know the item that makes this an interesting belt it's the buckle now the buckle comes separately on this belt you have to put this belt together yourself but this is the core buckle right here nice sturdy hard metal of some kind i don't know what it's made out of exactly but it is a very nice little buckle they come in a different variety of shapes uh, sizes are all pretty much the same, but it just depends on how dressy you want to be. This is more of a tactical style belt, similar to my 511 one, uh, or buckle I should say. So that's what I, I went with this look. But they all operate the same. The way they operate is there's a little track system that is sewn in right here. Plastic track system. I believe there are 40 different little levels right here of how much you can adjust this belt. So all you do, like I said, the uh, buckle comes separate from the belt. So you have to put the belt together yourself and there's different measurements right here you can see showing you where you where you are supposed to cut based on your waist size they say go four inches uh, above what you wear in your pant size so uh, i've got mine at 38 and that's actually my pant size so for me i went with where i actually wear it and it worked out for me so they say go four inches above i didn't have to do that though but anyway back to what makes this an interesting type of belt all these different little little uh, notches right here latch into this section of the buckle all right, let me see if I can show this to you. There's this little lever right here. You can see how it lifts up like that. That little lever latches into these. Let me see if I can do it this way so you can kind of see how it goes. Sorry about that. You see, you put it in like this and you hear it. Just like that. And you are secure in your waistline. As far as you carrying a knife, I carry a knife every day. You can carry a gun. Uh, magazine pouch on the other side, however you want to do it. I usually have, like I said, a full fixed blade and then I've got a multi-tool on this side. Uh, I've been wearing this for about a month now and I really like it. I've had no issues with it. The buckle seems to be holding up well. I like that you can adjust this on the fly. So if you're, you know, I'm in and out of a vehicle because I do deliveries every day. So what I can do is just as I get in, you know, I've got the big old gut. I want some comfort. I can just use this little lever right here goes towards the bottom when you're wearing it. You just clip that lever, lever out, move it out to wherever you want it. And then when you get in or you get out of the vehicle, you can just cinch it down. You know, little adjustments on the fly, very nice. I like how simple this is. I like how sturdy this is. This is definitely IZN recommended or approved. So I will put a link in the description box down below to my Amazon store. If these are on Amazon, you can pick one up there. If not, then I will put the link to uh, Core Essentials at their website so you can go on and buy it there. I think this runs about, oh, I'm not even gonna guess the price. I'll put it up on the screen though right now as far as what this goes for. It's a pricier belt, but it seems to be uh, one that's gonna last for a very, very long time. So I definitely dig it. It is high quality. And that's it for today, guys. Actually, that's not it. I have one more quick thing besides this review. I want to introduce you to somebody. She's right back here. Let me see if I can get her real quick. Give me one second. All right, guys, I'm back. This is Charlie. <laughs> Say hi, Charlie. Charlie is the newest member of the Irish Zombie Nation K9 division. Now, Charlie here was abandoned, dropped off, dumped in my neighborhood. We saw her, we're sitting in the living room and we see her outside freezing. Uh, in this abandoned house, couple doors down. She's living under the porch. She wouldn't come to me at all. I think she was abused by men because it, it took me like three days of trying to cozy up next to her before she'd eat out of my hand. My wife, she went over, took her 20 minutes, and next thing you know, this dog was jumping in her arms. Once we get her in the house, she's in love with all of us, instantly became a member of the family. So Charlie, she's about nine months old. I don't know what she's mixed with, but that's a beautiful dog right there. So you'll be seeing some more of her in the different videos. I'm hoping this is a dog I'm gonna be able to train to go camping. Cause you know, all my other dogs are all small little chihuahua blends and such. This one though, she seems like she's got something in her that uh, will make a good camping dog. So that's it today guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below if you got anything you wanna say. Charlie, you got anything you wanna say? No, she loves the snow. She's been 
jumping all over, digging her face hurt, rolling it. She loves it. So it's going to be a good camping dog. Anyway, guys, anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. And until next time, we'll see you around the fire.